Hey, what's up, Marcus? A uh, quick demo video for you for your Ultra Saber stunt. Um, I just got this done, so I wanted to go over it with you. I did, I did do a few modifications to this hilt. Uh, because it was a stunt saber, it wasn't set up for sound. So you had a latching switch right here that um, one, so if you press it once, it turned the lights on, and then you press it again, it turned it off. So uh, I took that out, replaced it with a momentary switch, 12 millimeter. Um, it's recessed down into the hilt so it doesn't get in your way. It's kind of even with the diameter of the hilt, but easy to press right here too. Um, and then the other modification I did was to the pommel cap. So it was solid, right? Because it wasn't meant for sound. So what I did was take it off and show you. One single hole here for sound, but then I went in the back and I stepped I stepped that hole, if you can see the different, uh, the different diameter as a hole. My thought was there to press the sound forward and out of the back, and it sounds really well, or it sounds really good doing that. So I don't know if it was because of the stepping or just the hole, but anyway, I'm gonna say it was my idea, and that's the reason why it sounds really good. But anyway, this is CFX. Um, you've got seven pin, uh, a seven pin connector right there. You've got your blade retention screw right here that we'll use here in a second. Um, and then you have a slide chassis. So what you wanna do is when you take this guy off, you'll see your speaker and your chassis right here. You can just reach in and pull this guy right out. Um, so the wires are kind of coiled in. You don't wanna pull it out any more than necessary, which is to put in your battery right here. And then you've also got your board. So you got easy access to your board or your SD card. You can uh, bring that in and out sound with sound fonts, messing with your config, anything you want to do, and then pop it right back in. Uh, the board is an extremely tight press fit down into the chassis, so no glue. Uh, and it does say solo sabers right here in Arabish. So uh, let's throw a battery in this guy. One button setup. So I'll show you how to do the different things with the one button. So normally what you want to do is you'll just, you'll grab your hilt, you'll have your saber in the bottom of your hand, You'll have the chassis and your two fingers right here. Spring side right here, that's the negative side of your battery. So don't ever put your battery in backwards, you'll fry the board. Do I have to kill you to get you to stop talking? So you get that sound, that, that's a good sign. Now, you, if it gets stuck on you a little bit like it is right now, you can take it and just twist it clockwise and push it in. We're just bundling up those, those wires and just moving them forward a little bit. And then you can use this guy and screw it in to help you get the uh, chassis the rest of the way in. So uh, there is a diameter change in here. It happens about right here. And that chassis was printed to uh, fit in here exactly. So it, it stops at that diameter change and then the other side stops right where this pommel screws in. Um, and then you can see your, your speaker right there. But the speaker is inside the chassis, right? So if I unscrew this, I forgot to show you. And you can see your speakers down in there a little bit. Um, and that's so that this can press up against your chassis, but it doesn't touch your speaker drum. So you don't get any sound distortion. And we'll screw this back on. We can turn it on or we'll probably just wake the board up right now. Do I have to kill you to get you to stop talking? That's pretty loud. And then turn it on. turn it off. I'm going to throw a blade in here. This takes a one inch diameter blade. So you'll need to acquire a NeoPixel blade. I usually tell people Bindu Armory sells uh, some pretty decent blades for about 99 bucks or so. So it's a good place to start, right? Do I have to kill you to get you to stop talking? Now we'll turn it on. <laughs> Clash on clash. Tap it for blaster deflex. Now, if you want to get blade lock up on a one button setup, you have to hold down the button and hit the blade at the same time. It's a little tricky. And then you get that. If you want to change color when the blade is on, hold down your button and twist your wrist. You hear spectrum. Now you can twist the hilt, and every time you hear a click, it's 
a different color. So let's say if we wanted to go for a, a red, we'll come across it eventually. Maybe. We're close. Here's a red. Then we'll just tap a button. And we'll turn it back on to red. Now, if you wanted to change blade effects, because I gave you about 22, we'll do the same thing. We'll hold a button and twist our wrist, but then this time we'll keep the button held down. Spectrum. Keep holding it. Blade profiles. Now again, you can twist the hilt. And every time you hear it click, it's a different blade style or different blade effect. It's kind of like a fire blade. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from on here. We're gonna go with a solid one right now. So here's a solid one. We'll just tap a button and we'll turn it off. And it has that little tracer on the end and then it will trace when it turns on too, I think. Yeah, just like that. A little hard to see it come on on a test blade. But I think you got the idea. Um, now to change sound fonts, you'll just hold the button down when the blade is off. Sound bank selection. And then you just cycle through with this button, and then when you find one you like, hold the button down. Nice smooth swing. Nice responsiveness, right? like that and then we'll go ahead and take this blade out but uh, that is basically your operation of your saber now you do have all the stock fonts on there and then because you got a CFX for me you have um, a surprise sound font on there <laughs> that you can uh, when you cycle through them at home you'll find it but um, that's everything that I did to this saber hope it came out the way you like this chassis slides out in and out very easy so when you pop that pummel cap off you can just go like that Chassis comes right out, and then you can just take the battery out right with your finger, just like that. And then just, uh, you know, put the chassis back. And then screw this back on, and you're good to go. Just like that. You can, you can see that that chassis was made the specific length. Otherwise, you'd hear it rattling around in there. You, there's nothing, right? So let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.